Hey, good day, happy humans. We're here traveling like we always do. Um, but we wanted to give those who go to Kings Island maybe a couple helpful tips um, on maybe a successful trip to Kings Island and kind of what we do and what Kings Island provides to make that successful for you. So one thing uh, starting mid-July that they're going to do actually is going to go cashless. Actually, I believe it started yesterday or today. Okay. So they're cashless now. So they're cashless now and it's mid-July. You're not gonna be able to use cash. Yeah. Now, they will have cash to card kiosks. Um, there are four in Kings Island and there was one at Soak City. The one at Soak City is at the Rendezvous Run. Uh, the four in Kings Island, there's one near Fest House. There's one at the main entrance. Um, there's one at Diamondback. And then I forget where the other one is at. But there's four in the main park. Um, and you have to use a card to make all your purchases. Or you could just use your debit or credit card to pay for purchases. Correct, yeah. But they're not handling cash anymore. And I understand. Um, it's a lot to deal with. Cashier error, things like that. So I totally understand. I'm actually on board with that. Daily dining plans. Uh, the daily dining plan is $31.99, and that gets you meals every 90 minutes uh, at the park. The meals do not include a drink, so it is meals. And the really nice thing about Kings Island is the majority of stuff that they offer, like their entrees, are on the dining plan. It's not like you go and like two of like the 10 choices are on the dining plan. All, like in most restaurants, almost everything's on the dining plan. Yep. There are some exceptions, but for the most part, I mean, you've got a lot of choices on the dining plan. You do. Uh, Chick-fil-A even has stuff on the dining plan. Even like La Rosa's or Skyline, uh, Subway. Yeah. Um, honestly, I would say don't eat at those. Eat it like- You can get those any other time. If, eat it like Hank's or eat at um, Brew House or yep. eat at uh, the barbecue place on Coney. Coney Island barbecue like, is good. Or the front, there's a French place that just opened the French up on corner. me. Yeah. Right by like, the Eiffel Tower. So, I, I I mean, if you like that fast food stuff, that's cool, but I would try all the other stuff. And like I said, at every restaurant, there's multiple um, like entrees and, and sides and stuff that are on the plan. Now, I did talk about like drinks not being on the um, dining plan or like on the meals, I should say. But you can buy an all day drink pass. Uh, I believe it's $13.99, and that gets you refillable drinks at the kiosks every it's 10, like 15, 10, 10 or 15, or 15 minutes. minutes. It's very short time in between. Yeah, so you get sodas. They have uh, freestyle Coke stations, um, which, cool. are, which are really nice. Yeah, some stations have like tea um, if you don't want like carbonated, or they'll have like lemonade. Yeah. Um, so we recommend, I recommend the freestyle because like any kind, like if you want like a diet caffeine free cherry vanilla Coke or like, you know what I mean? Like you can pick like a lot more choices at the freestyle. Yeah. I would say the options are limitless, but there's a limit to it. I think there's yeah. like 150 different combinations. So, I don't know the math. Another thing is you can either get um, a wristband that they scan and then they'll give you like a cup or you can get one of their drinking um, cups, souvenir bottles, souvenir bottles, and the thing is, you can only do one or the other. If you start out with the wristband, you can't switch to a souvenir cup later. If you start out with a souvenir cup, you can't. I've had people like in front of me in line, like ask about switching, and they're like, "No, whatever nope. you start with, that's what you have to keep." You chose one. Now, um, the thing about the souvenir bottle, and it might be with the drinking band too, is that $13.99 one, if you come back on different days, you can still use like your souvenir cup, but it's a dollar for a refill, which is a lot less than like the $5.50 they charge. Is you that know. true? Yeah. Okay. This is for the souvenir cup. Okay, um, okay. We don't use the wristband, so I'm not sure if you can, you know, do the same dollar refill with that, but I would yeah. assume if you could do it with one, you could do it with the other. Yeah. Um, you could also get the all season um, wristband or souvenir cup. Which is the one that we have. Yeah, and it's like $30, but you can, every single day you're there, you can $32. use it. $32. Yeah, every single day you're there, you can use it, and it's 
three refills. So, I mean, we have two of them and we probably refill our cups 10 to 15 times, you know, if we're spending the whole day at the park. Yeah. And that's every time. So if we think for $30, we refill our cup dozens and dozens of times. So it's really a great, it's a great deal. Yeah. And I want to add that the uh, year long uh, souvenir mug or the drink plan uh, actually works at other parks too. If you have your King's Island souvenir, season long drink bottles, you can use them at all Cedar Fair parks. Yeah, we've so taken out to Cedar So if you plan Point. to go to mm -hmm. Cedar Point or Carowinds or King's Dominion or uh, what's the one out there's Canada's Wonderland. Um, Any Cedar Fair park, you can use your cup there. Dorney Park. Uh, what's the one out in California? I have no clue. <laughs> Knott's Berry Farm. Um, I'm trying to name all of them, and I can't remember them all right now. But yeah, they work at all those at all those uh, at all those parks. One thing I, I do use a lot is the Kings Island app, which is very very helpful. Um, even sometimes on the Kings Island app, just make sure you download it. But um, you can put your gold passes on there or your platinum passes. It's great for making your reservations to the park, but I don't believe reservations are called for anymore. Um, but they helped out for us when we were making those reservations to Cedar Point, to Carowinds. Um, you can, I mean, there's yeah. maps on it. So if you're, if you, you know, your first or second time at the park, it'll help you get around. It tells you wait times. Now, sometimes the wait times aren't super accurate but it gives right. you an idea like you can see like this is how busy the park is today there's 15 minute waits for most things or an hour wait like it yeah. kind of helps you gauge how busy the park is now that being said you do not get wait times until you're actually in the park yeah. unlike the disney app when you use the disney app it tells you the wait times any any you time can of the day them at home and yeah he I, often does <laughs> i often do so when i'm planning our disney trips i'll look and be like okay well tuesdays Magic Kingdom doesn't seem to be as busy as Mondays, yeah. so we go and we kind of plan Island that out. But I guess doesn't want you to like decide that before. <laughs> yeah. But when you get to the park, you can kind of gauge how you know how long the lines are. Correct. And, and I'll tell you, sometimes you're like walking into the park and it seems really busy, and you're like, oh no, it's going to be a busy day. But then you get in there, and the lines aren't that long, and the waits aren't that bad. So it, I feel like sometimes it can be deceiving. Like if maybe you're coming at a time like that everybody else is coming. But once you get into the park and you start to disperse, a lot of times it's not as bad as you think it's gonna be. Right. And last but not least, not really a tip, but something that we look forward to, um, last time it was there was the year 2019, is Grand Carnival. And they're bringing it back and it started. It's probably gonna start the Tomorrow. day that this video uploads. Yeah, it starts, it starts on the July 17th. 17th. And it runs through August 1st. Mm. It's like two weeks. Yeah, but it's a tremendous time. Yeah. Um, one thing that helps you out is that they have little food kiosks for different areas um, they have around the world. Six different six, countries. Six different countries. Germany, Spain, Italy, China, Italy, India, India, France. And France. Yeah. Um, and there which might is be, tremendous. Is there six or seven? I think there's six. I think there's six. Yeah. But if you want to do the taste testing, uh, we talked about the dining meal plan. That does not, those little kiosk stations, a little yeah. whatever, you the food stations. You have to get a kind of like a food pass for those. You have to get a food pass. So if you go to the Kings Island website, the Kings Island app, yeah. you can buy a six tasting card for $30. $30. Yeah. Or you can buy a nine tasting card. If you are a gold pass member. For $45. I don't know if that's that's what the th that's what they said, but I was on there today and didn't log in, and it showed that option available. Hmm. So I don't know. Yeah, last time you might want to double check the nine one because last time I looked it up, it said that it was an exclusive for Gold Pass members, but maybe they decided to make it. Yeah, I so don't just know. check the website. Check the website. Um, and something we learned that we went to Cedar Point was it was actually a little cheaper on the website than buying it in person, or Correct. is it not that way in Kings Island? I'm not sure. Okay, we so check there the yet. website first. <laughs> that would be yeah. our, we are but yeah, Grand Carnival is a great time. Plenty of food. Um, it's going to be awesome. Mm -hmm. There's um, entertainment. Mm -hmm. There's a big parade every night at I believe 8:30 p.m. Yeah. 
p.m. There's entertainers that like walk around. Um, a couple of years ago, our youngest did not like the mimes, remember? Did not like the mime. <laughs> but also, I became a good friend with one of the jugglers there. Yeah, so. And you'll probably see him right here. I'll probably do a B-roll of him juggling yeah. in front of us. But, uh, but I think they also have like crafts for the kids. And um, I know last time, remember like they had, in different countries, they had different types of entertainment. They did. So it's really cool. It officially starts at 5 p.m. every day. Now we were trying to decide if the food stations were open earlier than that, and we can't. Remember. I don't know. It doesn't open until but the, well the today. But the carnival, if, uh, and carnival we're out of town. officially starts at 5 p.m. Yeah. So it's going to be awesome. We are going to go. We are going to make a video, so we'll get you some more info on yep. it. But we're not going to be there Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, we're out of town this weekend, but we're planning to go Monday. So. Yeah. So if you see this video and you see us there on Monday, <laughs> say hi. Say hey, and let us know what kind of food you like. Anyway, guys. Those are a couple cool things we want to talk to you about about Kings Island. Um, we got nothing more to say. Until our next video, guys, be, be a happy human. human. Peace, Peace out. out. Chosen wisely.